channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. So if this is the first video of mine that you have ever clicked on and you're new to this family, hello, welcome, and today I have a special treat for you because morning routines, waking up early, how to go to bed early, all that good stuff is my specialty. So when I film videos like this, I get super excited because it's something that I had to work towards and through trial and error, see what works for me, what doesn't work for me, actually seeing the benefits of being a morning person, seeing that I get so much more done and that when I actually do hit the snooze button or I actually do sleep in, I'm working till like 10 o'clock at night because I can't get everything done. Like those few hours in the morning are literally so important. That's when we have really great energy. And overall, I could just really thrive in the morning and have the most successful and productive Day. By the way, that is my dog sitting behind me. So today's video is going to be how to wake up early part two. So I did film a part one and it's not even a year old yet. So I will leave that down below. All of those tips are still true and still things that I actually do and find helpful. There were some things that I kind of left out of that video because I didn't want to overload you guys and overwhelm you guys with too many tips. Like I've said in previous videos before, if you take in too much information all at once, you could feel as if you've learned nothing. And sometimes it's just helpful to concentrate on a few easy things that you can implement into your life right now. Work on those. Feel like a rock star. Oh yeah. Then you're all ready to take in some new information, take in some new tips, and really build off of the first ones that you started doing. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, talking all about how to wake up early, how to change your life, and overall be more successful in every aspect of your life. Okay, so number one, the first thing that I want you guys to do is to take out notes in your phone or to take out a piece of paper and just write this down. I want you to answer the following question. Would waking up earlier overall benefit your life, your goals? Would you reach your goals faster if you were to wake up earlier? I want you to ask yourself that and definitely be truthful with yourself. The reason why I ask is a lot of times when we have to do things that are going to be painful, like sometimes waking up in the morning, I wanna snooze and sometimes I do snooze and we're gonna talk about that in a second. But for the most part, I like to wake up at 5.30 every single day. And then on the weekends, I like to sleep till like 6.30, 7.30, but like before eight o'clock. But during the week, I like to consistently wake up at 5.30. Now, when that alarm goes off, I'm never like, oh yeah, 5.30 feels so good. No, never, I'm always like, oh, it's at 5 30 already how did this happen i just fell asleep so that's kind of like the painful aspect right like the waking up early but when you can think about the benefits and how it will benefit your life it's going to outweigh the painful side of things you know what i mean so you can kind of compare this to when you started working out nobody feels good after their first workout right like when you're first getting back into the swing of things you're not like oh yeah that felt great like maybe mentally yes but you're usually sore because you're starting something up again you haven't used certain muscles in a really long time so it doesn't feel good right away but you can see the benefit side the reward side if you will if I consistently do this workout one I'm going to feel better mentally and have so much more clarity throughout the day but two I'm going to get stronger I'm going to get fit I'm going to get my best body and you start to see that the reward the end goal and all that good stuff sort of outweighs the pain side of things of working out the going to the gym the sweating lifting weights. So that's honestly where I would start. I would start with writing down a notes in your phone or writing on a piece of paper. How will your life actually benefit if you wake up earlier? Are you going to use this time in the morning to work on your blog or work on your website? Work on your homework because you really want to finish school. You really want to get into a good college. For anybody trying to achieve weight loss or put on muscle or get stronger, this is your ticket because this is the time where you can try a health kick or you can try a new workout. Start making a list of all the reasons why waking up early in the morning is going to benefit your life overall. So when you start to do that, you're gonna to start to see the benefits and that's going to outweigh the pain side of things. So when you're waking up in the morning and the alarm goes off and you're like, I want you guys to prepare for the days that it doesn't feel good to wake up in the morning and you go back to that list, you go back to that feeling of, wait, this is going to benefit me and these are all the reasons why, so I'm gonna get my butt out of bed. So step number two is, okay, now you're prepared, you wanna wake up early, you're gonna do this, I want you to pick the day you're going to start. So for me, it was Monday morning. I kind of got into some bad habits when we recently adopted our dog. Harper is like literally so cute and I show her on IG story all the time and Snapchat and she's adorable. 
but he is younger than our little Wyatt who's sitting right there by the way recently because we kept getting up in the middle of the night with her we've been sleeping in so we were like you know what Monday morning we gotta get into good habits so my tip here is to start one or two days before so Monday was my ideal day of waking up at 5 30 so I started actually on Sunday by waking up at 6 a.m. morning guys my alarm just went off it's 6 4 on Sunday that way if you're feeling tired and like zombie-ish and you're like oh I just can't deal with the day kind of doing it on an off day you know what I mean like Sunday was a day that I could be a little extra tired and I didn't have to be like on point you know what I mean but Monday I really wanted to hit the ground running and feel my best so instead of just saying you know what tomorrow I want to get to this early morning thing I decided to do it the day before that way my body was already starting to adjust already starting already starting to get used to it and then Monday felt like a little bit more of a breeze and then Tuesday will be easier Wednesday and so on and so forth step number three is to have a good and relaxing nighttime routine towards the end of the night like when we are done eating dinner I'll start to dim the light I might run a bath I might listen to soft music but just overall being really relaxed so it's a little wet here because I just refilled this and the dogs just tripped me. This has been amazing and it's a cool humidifier so it's blowing like cool water um, and you can also put oils in there too and it acts as like a diffuser. Really amazing. I get a really good night's sleep with it and I used to use a fan as you guys probably have seen in my videos. Look it's like turning blue now. It's so cool. Um, as you guys have seen in my videos but that just kind of blows dust and it just I would, wouldn't get the best sleep ever. So it's Sunday, March 18th, and it's like almost 9.30. The doggies are getting ready for bed. Harper's making herself comfortable. She always likes this down a little bit so she can get underneath. And then Wyatt's always chewing a bone before bed. I do like to be in bed, like my eyes shut and everything at 9.30. And I think that that's really important to have a time where that's when you wanna be in bed tucked I shut. If you say to yourself like, oh, I wanna be in bed at like 9.30 or 10 or whatever, you could be on the couch watching TV till 10 and then you're like, okay, now I wanna turn the lights off and go upstairs. And then that's not really going to bed at 9.30, 10 because then you have to get upstairs, wash your face, maybe take a shower, brush your teeth, get your like pamper routine together. You know what I mean? Like all that stuff takes time. So you wanna tell yourself, okay, when do I want to be in bed by like tucked in? And for me, that's really 9.30. Any later than that, I don't feel my best waking up in the morning. If you think about it guys, the better nighttime routine, the more relaxing and the better sleep you get, the easier it's going to be to wake up in the morning. Plain and simple. You know, if you're out clubbing all night and like, oh yeah, and like listening to like loud music and drinking, like, and you have a hangover the next morning, it's gonna be really hard to wake up the next day. I mean, I've done it, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> Tip number four is don't hit the snooze button. I repeat, don't hit the snooze button. Morning, Harper. Hi, cutie. Wyatt's still sleeping. Hi, Wyatt. It is 5.36 in the morning. My alarm just went off. And my advice here is to just get up. <laughs> if you hit the snooze button, or anything like that, it's gonna be really hard to just wake up. The days that I hit the snooze button are the days that I sleep in. Just keeping it real with you guys, keeping it honest, the days that I hit the snooze button are the days that I'm sleeping in. I've noticed that about myself, that the snooze button, those extra 10 minutes just feel so good and they actually make me more tired. So if I set an alarm to 5.30 and I'm like, you know what, I just wanna snooze till like, 5.45. Well, at 5.45, I'm even more tired than I was when I woke up at 5.30 to shut off that alarm. When I wake up at 5.45, I'm like, oh God, like no, I need to sleep till six. Like, and then six turns into 6.30. And then by the time I wake up, it's seven, which I know is still early. If I sleep in, then I definitely can't get in my workout because I have to get straight to filming or editing or working on my jewelry collab or working on meal plans or whatever the case may be. I also have my two dogs to take care of in the morning, walk them, get them fed, that takes at least 30 to 40 minutes. So there are so many things that I have to do already that have to be done regardless if I hit the snooze button or not. So my tip here is to just wake right up. And then that actually brings me to tip number five and that's to splash your face with water. So if you're like me and you do wake up with like morning allergies or you do just like have allergies in general, splashing your eyes with water and just kind of like cleaning your face actually is a great allergy remedy that my doctor gave me. Who by the way, usually never gives me like natural remedies, but he told 
told me like, you know what, if you just wash your eyes with water, that can be just as effective as taking an allergy medicine, which really don't, me and allergy medicines, we just don't work together. So it helps with cleaning out dust out of your eyes. It helps with waking me up in the morning, gives me that like little energy, like, okay, we are up, we're doing this, we're not going back in the bed. Okay, so tip number six is to have something you're excited for, like coffee or tea. And I actually have a Starbucks hack for you guys. So usually I go downstairs and I have coffee, but recently my boyfriend has been getting me into ice chai from Starbucks with soy milk. Oh my gosh, guys, they are so good, but they are filled with sugar. You guys know how I feel about too much sugar in my diet and I'm also paying the price for it because Starbucks is expensive, especially if you're getting that every day. So I just thought, you know what? I can make ice chai at home with a lot less sugar. So I found this chai tea at Whole Foods and basically it's lightly sweetened. So there's only 30 calories for half a cup, which is what I'm doing, and only seven sugars, which is a lot less than the Starbucks drink. And I'm using soy milk, but you can use whatever milk you want. Add a little ice, stir, and that's it always gonna get excited about coffee, but there are some of those days that you like feel like something cold or feel like something iced, and then that's when I reach for my iced chai, or I'll just make that in the afternoon, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip number seven is to try one of my health concoctions. Both of these will give you great energy. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I start with a little warm water. We're gonna squeeze some lemon in there. And then I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, I know I say this in literally every single video, though you guys are probably tired of hearing this, but in case it's anybody's first time watching, this is very important. When you're buying apple cider vinegar, if you wanna take shots of it and get the health benefits, it has to be with the mother. And basically it's all, I mean, I just shook it up so you can't see, but there's like all this murky stuff at the bottom. Basically that's good bacteria. And that my friends is a morning cocktail. Drink this baby up and you will have a faster metabolism, less sweet tooth cravings and a ton of energy. My other recommendation would be spirulina, which I talk about in so many videos, probably every single video. The whole reason I actually got it in the first place is because it's a blue-green allergy. So when I went vegan, and since I wasn't going to be having fish anymore, I decided, oh, I'm going to need this in my diet. What I didn't realize is the amount of energy this gives you in the morning, it's amazing. And last but not least, tip number eight is any positive change you make in your life, you want it to be a lifestyle, right? Like you don't want it to just be something you're forcing yourself to do. You want it to eventually turn into a lifestyle and come easy to you. So my tip here is to wake up early every single day, you know, do it on the weekends as well. You could sleep a little later on the weekends, but definitely try your best to be up at a certain time every single day. That way during the week, it doesn't feel like, oh, I don't want to do this and then your body like is trained not to wake up early because on the weekends you were just sleeping till like 1 p.m or something you know try getting yourself to get up early every single day so that is everything guys i hope you guys enjoyed my how to wake up early part two video definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i will leave part one down below if you missed it so i love you guys so much follow me on instagram for daily videos and tutorials and all that i post like how i'm making meals and shakes and workouts and all that good stuff Stuff. So I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!